Question one. Sensitivity is one of the characteristics of life. The eye is one of the major sense organs of the vertebrates. I will so I'll define the term sensitivity. Gih kaza marra. Eh hey, sensitivity. Two marks. I will mark ala. Ability to detect stimuli. Yani, I can sense. أقدر أحس بالحاجات اللي حواليا. Ability to detect stimuli in the environment and then make response. Ability to detect stimuli and to make a response. This is the definition of sensitivity. Type define sense organ. برضو كي كي كذا مرة. What is the sense organ? It is a group of receptor cells. Receptors, عشان تحس بالسمال, تحس باللايت, تحس بكذا حاجة. يبقى a group of receptor cells, okay, that responds to specific stimuli. The receptors دي هتحس باللايت, بالساوند, بالحاجات دي, and then you will a respond. يبقى الريسبتور لما بيحس باللايت عيني بتشوف او يا الايرز الريسبتور بتاعت الايرز لما بتحس بالساوند فاقدر اسمع اوكي طيب يبقى ذس از ذا سنس اورجن اكوموديشن اكوموديشن از ون اوف ذا فانكشنز اوف ذا اي ايه هي الاكوموديشن ات از ذا فوكسينج يعني ايه فوكسينج الابيليتي تو سي النير والفار لو أنا مركزة على حاجة قريبة هبقى شايفاها كويس. طب لو أنا ركزت على حاجة بعيدة الفوكس بيتغير. This is called accommodation or focusing. Figure 1.1 is a diagram of an eye that focuses on a distant object. إيه الرول اللي إحنا قلناها هنا؟ في النير سي سي. يعني إيه في النير سي سي؟ الciliary muscle contracts. يبقى الـ suspensory ligaments هتبقى عكسها ايه؟ loose الـ suspensory ligaments are loose طب what about في الـ distant object لو أنا عندي حاجة far هيبقى العكس بقى الـ ciliary muscle relax يبقى لو عندي حاجة far هتبقى الـ ciliary muscle relax والـ suspensory ligaments are tight يبقى تاني نفتكرها ازاي؟ بنفتكرها في النير سي سي سيليري ماسل كونتراكت السسبنسري ليجمنتس ما بنقولش ريلاكس بقى لانها مش ماسل بنقول ذي ار لوس اما في الفار العكس السيليري ريلاكس السسبنسري ليجمنتس ار تايت ستيت ذا نيم اوف ذا بارت اوف ذا ريتينا لابلد اكس ايه البارت ده اللي بيحصل عنده الفو... الفوكس it is the fovea ماشي figure 1.2 is an incomplete diagram of an eye that is focusing on a near object في near object لازم اللنس بتبقى ايه تاني في near object قلنا في near cc ciliary muscle relax طيب Uh, sorry, ciliary muscle contract. طب with suspensory ligaments, they are loose. The suspensory ligaments اللي مسكين اللنس, they are loose. طالما they are loose, يبقى اللنس مش مشدودة. اللنس هتبقى short and thin. يبقى أنا لما اجي ارسم اللنس, it has to be a, a thick lens. تخينة كده زي ما انتو شايفين. طب ايه تاني؟ هكمل اللايت ريز زي هنا واعمل ريفراكشن عند الكورنيا، اللايت ري بيبقى بنت عند الكورنيا وريفراكشن عند اللنس والفوكسنج في الاخر لازم يقع فين؟ عند الفوبيا او اليالو سبوت. ذيز ار ذا ثري ماركس. الشيب بتاع اللنس مظبوط، عندي ريفراكشن عند الكورنيا واللنس وتالت حاجة إن الفوكس حصل عند الفوبيا أو اليالو سبوت. طيب هنا بقى قال لي describe the role of the ciliary muscle and the suspensory ligaments in focusing on a distant object. فار عايزة في الفار نفتكر تاني النير سي سي يبقى الفار هيبقى سي ار 
هنا سيليري كونتراكت هنا سيليري ريلاكس طالما سيليري ماسل كونتراكت يبقى السسبنسري ليجمنتس هتبقى ايه لوس طب هنا السيليري ماسل ريلاكس يبقى الليجمنتس هتبقى تايت طالما الليجمنتس تايت شده من هنا وشده من هنا they will pull on the lens they will pull the lens this side and this side فاللنس هتبقى thin and long long and thin اهي and it will uh, refract the light less يبقى the ligaments pull on the lens so it is thin يبقى عندي ايه less refraction of light لما اللنس بتبقى thick هنا بيحصل عندي more bending أو more refraction of light. طيب ده الموضوع ده اسمه إيه؟ accommodation. Accommodation and it is different from the pupil reflex. آه أهو بقى هو ده pupil reflex. جاب لي الاثنين مع بعض. Pupil reflex. The eye also controls the amount of light that enters the pupil. Figure 1.3 shows an eye in low light and an eye in bright light. طيب, اللي حصل? Describe the changes that occurs in the eye when the light becomes bright. Describe the changes. اللي حصل لما light ايه? Uh, اتفتح بقى bright uh, light. أول حاجة, a circular muscle هيحصل لها ايه? Contract. زي ما قلنا هنا في النير سي سي بس دي كانت سيليري ماسل هنا بنقول ايه في البرايت سي سي في البرايت سي سي السيركلر ماسل كونتراكت طب والريديل هتبقى عكسها ريلاكس ليه عشان دول انتاجونيستيك they are antagonistic muscles وبما ان الموضوع ده بيحصل The pupil size decreases. The size of the pupil, which is the black hole, that he is. So what about if I tell you in dim light? Dim light. خلاص طالما أنا حفظت إن في البرايت سي سي يبقى حاكسها. في الدم هيبقى سي آر. Circular muscle relax. Radial muscle contract. So the pupil diameter. Increase. Tai, nigil D. The change shown in figure 1.3 occurs automatically without thought. A reflex da bihsal automatic. Our action da. Hoa kan aiz ismo ba. What's the name given to this type of action? Ol nailo e reflex action. Tai. Nigil question two. State the names of the parts A, B, C, and D. A اللي هي اللاير اللي برا خالص is the enamel. It is the outer whitish layer. And then under it we have the dentine. And then in the middle we have the pulp cavity which contains the nerves and the blood vessels. طب مين D? D اللي هي الجمز اللي هي اللسة. The pink part in your mouth. Describe and explain the function of the molar teeth. عليها ثلاث درجات يبقى لازم اشرح له بالتفصيل المولرز دي بتعمل ايه؟ crush and grinds the food why to increase its surface area why do we want to increase the surface area make it easier for the digestion by ال enzymes يبقى these are ال reasons okay figure 2.2 is an x-ray of decay in a molar tooth. حصل tooth decay هنا. How the tooth decay occurs? تحصل ازاي tooth decay? أشرح له بقى إن the food remains on the teeth and then the bacteria breaks down the glucose in the food by anaerobic respiration. لما هتعمل anaerobic respiration, it produces acid. This acid dissolves the enamel and then dissolves the dentine under it, which is a softer than the enamel. If I'm a kid, 
I explained how the tooth decay occurs. Okay, question three. A food web uh, for a forested area in Central America. I will tell you A. He gave me the trophic level. He wants you to describe it and give me an example. طيب يعني مثلا ال herbivore ايه هو ال herbivore it is an organism that feeds on plants only هعمل ايه اجيب herbivore منين choose anything that feeds on the grass ممكن collard peccary lowland tapir red harvester ants termites كل دول they are herbivores عشان they feed on a on plants producer what's the producer it makes its own food by photosynthesis زي البلانتس كده فهختار اي حاجه من البروديوسر مولي جراس او بيروفيان فيذر جلاس طيب هنا اداني الديسكربشن اند هي وانتس ذا ليفل اند ذا اكزامبل مين اللي بيفيد اون ذا تيرشري كونسيومر انا عندي بروديوسر برايمري كونسيومر Secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. طب اللي بيفيد on the tertiary بقى ده اسمه ايه؟ ممكن اقول له fourth consumer او اقول له quaternary consumer. Both are right. Fourth او quaternary consumer. مين هو ال quaternary؟ اللي هي مين؟ The great horned owl. طيب عايزة secondary consumer ايه الديسكريبشن بتاعه it feeds on the primary or gets its energy from the primary consumer فين secondary consumer هنا producer primary consumer this is a secondary consumer okay اداني بعد كده question B figure 3.2 shows the flow of energy through the food chain الانرجي اهي سولار انرجي جايه من السن absorbed by the trophic level 1 which is the plants بعد كده انرجي تروح ل 2 تروح ل 3 تروح ل 4 as you can see along the food chain الانرجي بتقل the arrows are smaller and this indicates ان الانرجي is less state the term given to the group of organisms represented by z 1 و 2 و 3 و 4 في الاخر بيبقوا decomposed by مين بقى؟ مين اللي الاورجانيزمز كلها بتروح له في الاخر؟ ال decomposers. طيب explain with reference why the food chain usually have fewer than five trophic levels. نفس السؤال اللي جاوبناه كذا مره. ليه عندهم اقل من five trophic levels؟ أو ليه التوب كونسيومرز بيبقى عددهم قليل؟ نفس الإجابة. Because only 10% of the energy is transferred between the trophic levels while 90% is lost. طب lost في إيه؟ أديله example. Lost as heat in respiration, in movement. Also, not all the material in the organism is eaten and not all is digested. يعني إحنا لما بنيجي مثلا ناكل uh, plants. Do you eat the whole apple tree? لا. I only eat a fruit. So I do not take all the energy in the apple tree. يبقى energy is lost as heat. Not all material in the organism is eaten and not all is digested. Therefore, there is no enough energy to support another trophic level. يبقى ما عنديش enough energy to support more than um, four trophic levels. Okay. C. Intensive livestock production can be damaging to the natural ecosystem. Figure 3.3 shows intensive farming of chickens. Dal intensive farms. A negative impact. عندنا زي ما هي negative impact on the livestock. قلنا بقى بيحصل spread of diseases, which leads us to use antibiotics. The antibiotics بتعمل antibiotic resistance. 
الفيد is expensive uh, you have to feed them food وده بيكلف فلوس كتير ال wastes there is a lot of waste coming out from this farm that can cause water pollution طب ما هي organic wastes عادي زي السوج بالظبط when it goes to the water it will cause eutrophication يعني ايه eutrophication يعني الاكسجين هيقل في الميه والسمك هيموت uh, loss of habitat because usually they have to clear the lands to build these a uh, to uh, these farms ممكن اكتب um, ايه تاني loss of biodiversity عشان uh, يعني it's not something natural it's not a natural farm كده وفيها كل الانيملز وكل الاورجانيزمز لا انت واخد الارض كلها and you're only uh, farming one type of a of animal يبقى ممكن برضو ايه loss of biodiversity okay forests are cleared for the farmland deforestation can lead to loss of soil اللي هو soil erosion the loss of deforestation بيعمل لي soil erosion What's the effect of soil erosion? When the soil is eroded, it will not absorb the water. مفروض إن السويل ده لما الرين بينزل, the soil absorbs the water. طب what if this water is not absorbed? It can cause flooding. يعمل فيضان. If the soil does not absorb the rain water, so it increases the risk of flooding. دي أول حاجة. Number two, decrease in the transpiration of plants. ال soil erosion ده معناها إن مفيش plants خلاص. طب لو مفيش plants مفيش transpiration. لو مفيش transpiration ال rainfall كمان هيقل يبقى ممكن يحصل كده وممكن يحصل كده. Number three, decreased soil fertility. You cannot plant. خلاص السويل باز مش هينفع نزرع في تاني. Number four, loss of habitat. الزرع اللي كان في السويل ده كان عايش في animals كتيرة. When you remove the plants and the soil is eroded, you cannot plant anything again. يبقى كده حصل ايه? Loss of habitat for the plants and the animals. طيب ممكن أقوله بقى extinction of the animals أو the plants ممكن برضو لأن there there are no plants they have no habitat so they will become extinct. Okay. extinction of plants and animals. Okay. Question four. Yeast cells have many structures in common with a plant cell. They have structures in common with the plant cells. State the names of the structures labeled A to D. A tubes عليها attached ribosomes يبقى ده rough endoplasmic reticulum. D big structure ده اسمه A ده الvacuole. طب ال functions uh, take care of this question بقى. هنا قال لي state the names هنا لو أنا ما قريتش السؤال I will also write the name يعني ممكن ما أخدش بالي and I'll write the name أكتب هنا nucleus هنا mitochondria but السؤال عايز إيه state the functions of the cell structure labeled B يبقى أنا ما ينفعش أكتب هنا إيه nucleus لا he wants the function ال B دي بتعمل إيه أقول له contains DNA controls the cell activities طب what about C Mitochondria and that inner folded layer here. But this is a mitochondria. What does it do? Respiration and release of energy. State the name of one structure that is found in plant cells but not in the yeast. Mean ma good fil plant, bish ma good fil yeast. Mean ba el chloroplast. Okay. Uh, yeast is used in the production of ethanol. How does how do they use it? El ethanol that is a type of biofuel, fuel for the cars. Figure 4.2 is a flow chart. Given maize, the dura, 
and then you extract starch you take the starch from the maize بعدين بنحط enzyme S which converts the starch into maltose then enzyme T converts maltose into glucose يبقى مين S و T ده S ده amylase and T is the maltase enzyme which converts L maltose sugar into glucose Yeast is used in process U. Uh, process U بقى هنا. In anaerobic conditions. بيحصل process U anaerobic conditions. يحول الجلوكوز لأثنل وكربن دايوكسيد. ده اللي هو anaerobic respiration. In equation for the anaerobic respiration. أول حاجة عندي one molecule of glucose. C6, H12O6. بيديني ايه؟ two alcohol two molecules of alcohol C2H5OH plus two CO2 two molecules of carbon dioxide In advantages of using biofuels instead of fossil fuels suggest طالما شفت كلمة suggest يبقى you have to think think using your mind أنا هستفيد ايه؟ What will I gain from using the biofuel? أول حاجة هعمل conservation للفوسيل fuels. These are limited. فا if you overuse them, they will be finished. However, when you use the biofuel, هقدر أحافظ على الفوسيل fuels على قد ما أقدر as they are limited. Number two, the biofuels they come from plants. يبقى when you plant, when you grow the plants, the plants دي هتستخدم the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in photosynthesis. So it will make a balance. It will not increase the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. لو بيعمل لي بعد كده global warming. The biofuels is less likely to cause acid rain. The fossil fuels بتطلع sulfur dioxide بيعمل acid rain لكن the biofuels لا. يبقى these are the advantages of the biofuels. Carbon dioxide may be collected from process U and sold for the use in glass houses. ممكن أخذ ال CO2 اللي بيطلع ده and I use it in glass houses. اللي هم ال greenhouse to our plants. Explain why the carbon dioxide is used in glass house. Why do I put them? لأن ال carbon dioxide is required for photosynthesis. So it is normally a limiting factor. How is it? CO2 for the air in the atmosphere is 0.04%, which is very little. So what if I increase the CO2? You will increase a faster rate of photosynthesis, more glucose produced, and more yield. Hechut crops akter from the plants. يبقى this is the idea. When you use the CO2 in the glass house, هيبقى عندي faster rate of photosynthesis, faster production of glucose, and more yield. طيب, question five. The activities of the ovaries and the uterus are regulated by hormones FSH, LH, estrogen, and progesterone. Complete the table to show the site of production and the role of these hormones. And then I got well done. Good for notes. The FSH be it from the pituitary gland, and it goes to the ovary. يعمل إيه هو أصلاً اسمه follicle stimulating hormone. So the role بتاعه إن هو بيعمل development of the egg. Then what about the LH? برضه بيطلع من البتويتري جلاند اوفري بيعمل ايه بقى؟ stimulates ovulation ده بيطلع عند day 14 in order to stimulate ovulation. الاستروجين استروجين it, uh, it is produced from the ovary هو والبروجسترون both of them are produced from the ovary and they affect the uterus. 
الاستروجين بيعمل بيلدينج اب لللايننج اوف ذا يوترس وايل ذا بروجسترون مينتينز ذا لايننج اوف ذا يوترس ثيك بيحافظ عليه عشان يفضل ايه ثيك زي ما هو Figure 5.1 shows the changes in the lining of the uterus of a human female. The changes that are happening in the lining. We have a breakdown, and then build up. We have a thick shoya. We have a breakdown, tiny, and so on. Describe the changes that occur between day zero and day twenty-eight. Type. أول حاجة سألني describe. Describe. Between zero seven, إيه اللي حصل؟ The lining decreases in thickness. Okay, and I have four, three marks. So try to write two points. The lining has also decreased. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If the decrease can very fast from day zero to day three. وبعدين ابتدى يبقى ايه؟ gradual كده شوية. يبقى lining decreases in thickness it is most uh, quickly between ايه؟ 0 and 3. طب what about ما بين 7 و 28؟ بيحصل بقى gradual increase in the thickness of the lining. فضل constant شوية between days مثلا 22, 23, 24 كان ايه slightly ايه constant كان constant وبعد كده بعد 28 بقى ابتدى decrease day يبقى between 7 and 8 it increases in thickness it remains constant from day 21 C Some people are infertile. يعني إيه infertile? They cannot give birth. Cannot give birth. They cannot have children naturally. طيب بما إن هما they cannot have children naturally, so we can do a يعني kind of treatment. عندي حاجتين حاجة اسمها artificial insemination وحاجة اسمها in vitro fertilization. لازم أعرف كويس أوي الفرق ما بين الاتنين دول. The artificial insemination be able a we collect the sperm from the father, and then the sperms are injected into the uterus of the mother. لكن the fertilization ما بين السبرم والأوفم بيحصل in the uterus عادي جدا. طب what about the IVF? In the IVF, you collect the eggs from the mother. You collect the sperms from the father. بناخد الاثنين outside and then they are placed in a petri dish. Mixed together, the fertilization بيحصل هنا في the petri dish. The embryos are formed outside. بعد كده يا إما نعمل لهم freezing. We can use them later. يا إما يتعمل لهم transfer. Okay. And the embryos are implanted in the a in the lining. السؤال بق describe the similarities and the differences between the two processes. Is similarities with differences. أولا in both treatments لازم قبل ما يبدأوا يأخذوا fertility drugs. إيه هي the fertility drugs? The FSH and the LH. In order to stimulate the production of the eggs, you help the female to pull out a ovocter. The sperm is collected from the father in both. Here I took the sperm from the father, and here I took the sperm from the father. Fertilization occurs in both. The two things have to do fertilization. I do a different place in a different place, but a fertilization occurs in both. Well, implantation occurs in both. طب إيه اللي مختلف بقى? What are the differences? في the artificial insemination, the fertilization occurs inside the body, while in the IVF, fertilization occurs outside the body in a petri dish. 
في ال IVF uh, the eggs are collected from the mother أما هنا لا the eggs remain inside آخر حاجة uh, embryo starts development outside the body هنا ال embryo develops outside the body لكن هنا ال embryo بيبقى إيه بيحصل له development inside the body That question five. Last question, but question six. Give me diagram of DNA. State the letter of the base that pairs with A. إحنا عارفين ال A مع T وال G مع C. يبقى مين اللي مع ال A? ال T. طب إيه letters of the other bases C and G? What's the role of DNA? The DNA ده بيعمل إيه? It is the chemical that contains the genes. It stores the genetic information. It gives the code for protein. Is they لأن هو عنده sequence of nitrogen bases that can be converted into a sequence of amino acids to form a different protein. If this is the role of DNA, يخزن genetic information. هيعمل لي الكود for the protein ازاي؟ لأن هو في ال sequence بتاع ال nitrogen bases. C. Figure 6.2 shows a plant tissue in which the cells are dividing by mitosis. Cell H, this is the cell H, it is about to divide by mitosis. What happens in the chromosomes before mitosis take place? And state why is this necessary? هفترض مثلا إن the deployed number in this plant cell was 10. لو حصل mitosis على طول كده daughter cells كل واحدة يبقى فيها 5. They will not be identical. أمال إيه اللي بيحصل؟ The number of chromosome first Doubles. The ten day at about twenty. عشان لما تيجي تتقسم by mitosis تعمل لي cell ten و cell a ten. They will be identical to the original cell. Yeah, but what happens to the chromosomes before mitosis? They are duplicated to maintain the same number of chromosomes in the daughter cells. Cell K is about to divide into two cells. Cell K, ahe خلاص حصل division أهم. بيقول لي إيه بقى? State the structure that will form between the nuclei so that the cell divides into two. إيه اللي حيف formed هنا عشان يفصلهم اثنين? Definitely عندي cell membrane. طب since إن دي كمان plant يبقى عندي cell membrane and cell wall. Uh, triple I, cell J in figure 6.2 is an example of a diploid cell. Fin J, uh, hey. diploid. Yani A, diploid. What's the meaning of the term diploid? Baulhelu zay. Baulhelu, it has two sets of chromosomes. Mishahna arfin, in the sexual reproduction, a cell betechud nos chromosomes from the father. This is one set. Nostal chromosome from the mother. This is the other set. يبقى في الآخر بتبقى diploid. What's the meaning of diploid? It contains two sets of chromosomes. أما الجميتس زي السبرم والأوفا والبولين غرينز دي بيبقى فيهم A. One set of chromosomes as they are haploid. كده we're done with this A. Test. It's very easy. Mafush, I have a thought.